The generator is a magnetic device that is totally magnetic. It is its own prime mover. It will self-start and continue to run, and as far as we know, we could say never stop. Basically, the design is a conventional generator. But the Searle effect is a great deal more than a simple generator. In our polluted and energy-starved world, it is the hope of all mankind that we find the solutions that lead us to both prosperity and harmony with nature. If we're going to get the climate back to what we want, a lot of work could be done. One thing is certain, you need energy. That's important, and it must be cheap as possible. Preferable, no pollution. This is the story of a man that fights against the big energy companies creating a device that produces free energy. A story with a lot of drama and the opposition that came from big energy companies against him and his family. We bet that you are tired of paying hundreds or maybe thousands of dollars on your electric bill. Stressed out because the plans you have made doesn't cover your budget. A lot of people confront this kind of problem these days. You are not the only one. His name was John Searle and he was born six weeks early and therefore was not expected to survive in England on May 19 1932 at a workhouse called the Downs on the Newberry Road in Wantage, then situated in the county of Berkshire. His father's name was Robert Henry Searle, whose presence appears to be non-existing at this time was the reason for the shameful event to have taken place. John's life was far from being happy. His mother, Violet, had to work long hours on the local farm to feed him and herself, and when there was no work available, she had to beg for food coupons from the Public Assistance Committee Department. John was placed in a foster home when he was still very young. He was a very curious boy and wanted to know how everything that he saw worked and was eager to learn and understand everything he could. John Searle started an electrical rewinding of motors, stripping motors and rewiring them, winding coils. He was actually starting a five-year apprenticeship, but weeks later he had left that and went into pharmacy, learning to dispense doctor's prescriptions. And that, of course, really was the key because in the time he was in the electrical trade he found out how electrical motors work what caused them to work how they were wired how to wind the coils how to insulate them and so on so he picked up very quick a key thing but you see he couldn't stay there because if he stayed there he'd be locked into one narrow band he had to go onto the medicine field to learn how chemicals are mixed together to produce certain results and then from there he went on to medical training all these changes occurred within a short time frame he was told by his boss at the chemist's shop that he was certainly qualified for something far better, having far more skills than what was required of him. At the age of 16, he went to London in a cinema to see a film. He was so impressed with it because he had just seen a film for the first time. He wanted to know how motion was done on film. So he went to the manager and asked him, how do you do this? So he said, would you like to see how it's done? So he took him up to the projection room and got the chief projectionist to show him about. And when he opened the arc lamp door, he said, You see the thin rod, carbon rod, and the thick one? The thick one is positive, and the thin one is negative. And you see that positive one has got a hole, a crater, and the negative has got a point. He said, The power comes from the positive and goes to the negative. And J.S. said, You're wrong. It goes from the negative to the positive. He said, No, I've been in the theater a long time. It goes from the positive to negative. So J.S. said, If it goes from positive to negative, as you've said, and not from negative to positive, how do you explain the crater in the positive? You've got a crater there because something is hitting it hard. It is knocking the stuff out, and it has a point on the other end because stuff is leaving it from the outside to the inside, and it splits away. So when the boss saw how he was tearing his top man to pieces, and he's only a kid, he asked him if he wanted a job. So he was given a job right away. So at the age of 30, he really knew everything about the atom. What could you do with it, and what you can't do with it? He began to realize that a certain law applied, and that law was the squares. These squares define everything, what you can and cannot do in nature. Well, the first thing was he was lucky. He worked for the Midlands Electricity Board in 1949, and he had all the equipment. Everything was there. What it was, the chaps were laughing at him. And when you're in charge of 11 areas, the bosses don't like their bosses being laughed at and mocked. So they said to him, well, you have three options. First, shut up. Second, do it. Or third, bugger off. He didn't like the idea of buggering off. He didn't like the idea of shutting up because he somehow knew he was right and he didn't see why he should shut up if he was confident that he was right. They said, you've got all the equipment here. You just tell us what you want in material. We'll get it. All you need to do is pay us the bare costs of the material. The first one was really only about 14 feet. By 1952, the first generator had been constructed. It was tested in the open by Searle and a friend. 
The armature was set in motion by a small diesel generator to induce a starting field. The device produced the expected electrical power, but at an unexpectedly high potential. At relatively low armature speeds, a potential of the order of 10 to the fifth power volts was produced, as indicated by the static effects on nearby objects. Characteristic crackling and the smell of ozone supported the conclusion. The really unexpected then occurred. The generator lifted while still speeding up, broke the connection between itself and the generator, and rose to a height of some 50 feet. Here it stayed for a while, still speeding up, and surrounded itself in a pink halo. This indicated ionization of the air at a much reduced pressure, 10 to the minus 3 millimeters Hg. More interesting was the side effect causing local radio receivers to go on of their own account. This could have been due to ionizing discharge from the generator or electromagnetic induction. Finally, the whole generator accelerated at a fantastic rate and is thought to have gone off into space. Since that day, Searle and others have made some tens of small flying craft, some of which have been similarly lost and developed a form of control. Larger crafts have also been built, some 12 feet and two 30 feet in diameter. The antics of his machines have given rise to much speculation as to the nature and origin of so-called flying saucers. One wonders why Searle has not come to the notice of scientists and to the public at large. The fact is that he has, but for fear of being ridiculed, people keep the knowledge or interest to themselves. The public has been educated to scoff at the subject of flying saucers and the reported behavior of things that cannot be explained by current scientific theory. Such difficult to explain topics must be given the no comment treatment so as not to upset the uncertain structure of present science theory. Any theory must explain the various phenomena, some of which have been observed by Searle himself and some by the general public, associated with the Searle effect generator or the following. First, anti-gravity or levity. Second, very high voltage electric fields. Searle said, the domestic power plant should be nothing more than about 18 inches in diameter and about 3 or 4 inches thick. That's all a very small unit. What you must bear in mind that plate 1 and plate 2 with their rollers are actually the prime mover. The ring 3 and its rollers is the energy producer. So you still got your two stages as you do in normal and conventional engines. The prime mover then the electric producer. In this case we just compressed it and it's still there. You've got the prime mover and you got the energy producer. Let me assure you of this. Man's future on this planet will depend on how well he learns to use the planet for his ends. Otherwise the planet will see man's end and sooner than most of us are able to appreciate. Many of these remote sensing techniques are possible because of their prior development of military reconnaissance surveillance satellites. Observations made by the astronauts themselves have contributed important information. John Searle had a problem with the electric board and they came and arrested him. Back then he moved from the Midlands down to Berkshire and while he was up there at their headquarters he purchased all the switch gear and cable and the cooker and things because he knew the house he's going to had no electricity. So he wired up the place, and when that electric board came to connect the power, they said they wouldn't connect it because the switch gear did not comply to their requirements. And he was really angry because it was all the electric board's property that he had purchased, and they were refusing to connect it because he hadn't bought it from their showroom. So when they refused, he connected it. After three months, they came and took the power off. So he went down and told them, he said, you've got exactly 24 hours to put that power back on, or I will stop all power for the whole area, and it will keep off until you put the power cables back and they said to me that I can't take the law into my own hands I said you just try me and see I have the technology and I'll use it by the time I got back the cables were back on so they realized I meant business when he got out of jail he had no home or anywhere to go nothing the home was gone everything the charges were stealing electricity they call it stealing electricity because electricity was supplied to your house and you weren't using it but you had electricity but you were supposed to be using their electricity but today I assume that if you put up a power generator of any kind you can ask them to take off their electric but you couldn't in the time we're talking about you had to use their electricity if it was there you couldn't use your own it was forbidden a man by the name of Devin E Tassin said to him when he was there with him that he came to Scotland and put in a water generator a power generator and he had a hell of a time they broke him he had to do this he had to do that the electric board fought him he said we fit these everywhere with no trouble but in England they were really making sure that we didn't make a penny's profit out of it. They made us do this and made us do that. Things that weren't needed, but you had to do it in order to be able to do the contract. So they came and told him that he was stealing their electricity, even though he was generating it with his own SEG. They were all powerful. On the SEG that he had running in his house, the output was 240 volts AC. 
and up to 11 kilowatts. He didn't have to transform it or anything. He set it into the wall as part of the wall structure and just brought the power up to the fuse box and from then on it was just normal house wiring. He's drawing more current without a voltage rise. At this time he was very close to a manned flight and then when the wife realized that he was going to win the newspapers were telling her that the next time we come he'll be Sir John and she didn't like that. She planned then that she would do something to stop all this work and stop it for good. She got everything destroyed legally five million pounds of property the public's money and on top of that a lot of people had been very nice to her bill sherwood and his wife rhoda brought presents to her and the children dr kane had her hair all done up and paid for it he was hard up yes because he was working nights to keep us going and working days to get the work done and that was hard work his wife got together with the power company and they arrested him on the charge that he was stealing power from them you see he was running his house on an SCG and was not using their power the police and the power company people ripped out all the wiring in the house and confiscated the SCG he was unjustly thrown in the prison and while he was in prison she called the police and asked if she could get rid of all his papers and equipment they said she can do whatever she she wanted as she was my wife. The things could be considered hers also. There were also books kept by John at his house of all the people who had witnessed his work. Each person would sign the book and put down their thoughts. Gunnar Sandberg was asked to go to John's home while he was imprisoned and get those books. He went into the house, but he did not get the books. He was sent to get certain information from the house. One of the things he was asked to get was the book that was signed by every one of the people who witnessed the demonstrations of the SCG and levity discs. He said that there was too much there and he was going to go back for it later. Meanwhile, the authorities burned all the papers in John's home. Witnesses said it took four days to burn all the material. His equipment was either destroyed or sold off. This was sanctioned by John's wife. After this experience, he divorced and meets his second wife, Susan, and started all over again with the SEG. But he had been working in secret so the big electric company doesn't destroy his life anymore. The question is, why don't they let people see the truth? We have put our hands on the blueprint and we want to release this to the public opinion so that the work of an incredible man could help the people to get rid of the one problem that a lot of individuals have these days. And that problem is that a lot of people pay too much money for a little bit of services when it should be free. So we come in your behalf with an offer that is not very easy to refuse. This is a DIY do-it-yourself generator that can improve your life and the life of your family by powering your entire house and get rid of the money thirsty electric company by the way you can save a lot of money and do whatever you want with them you don't need any experience in building this generator because you do not need to be an electronic artist to build it now this project can save you a lot of money that you can use however you want for example go on an early retirement plan a cruise or a really long vacation without thinking if your wallet will get thinner buy your dreamy big plasma TV with a stereo system replace your old car with a new one go every time you want to see a football or baseball game or just have a good and relaxing time time with your friends. So here is the offer. You can get the blueprints on how to build your homemade Searle Effect generator for a one-time payment of $49.97. You may question why we don't make this generator and sell it. The answer is we don't have enough budget and support because we are a few who have this generator in their house. So we are few to fight against the big monopolistic electrical companies. But if we are more, we can fight and win. We worked so hard to release this to the public opinion and see the truth about something that all the people should have for free. If you have questions, we're here to help you. Just email us at the address below and we're going to answer as soon as possible. So click the orange Add to Cart button below and you will get the blueprints immediately. We think this is a very fair price, but it's also up to you if it is or not. The designs for a new style house that will protect its inhabitants would be a boon for mankind. His design for the home generator would be the answer to our energy needs without pollution. His levity disc, or inverse G vehicle as it's now called, would open the doorway to safe and inexpensive space travel as well as opening up efficient, fast transportation here on Earth. Whatever Professor Searle's motives are, he is offering a better future for all mankind. All we have to do is accept it. In today's world, there is an economy that runs things, and this economy is based on profit. There is much greed and corruption involved. Who among you can say that we as a nation, or for that matter, a world, are living in the future that we wanted as a child? Governments have been influenced by the greed of big business. Big business runs the world, and their prime objective is not the betterment of mankind. Rather, it is the objective of making more money, which translates 
into power. Children are told by their parents, get along with each other and stop the fighting. Do something constructive for a change. We as a people have fallen into the same type of pattern as these children. We all want what the other has. We want to all be first. We want to have more than anybody else has. Some of you will say, we need competition to keep from boredom and complacency. I say we have a great task to fulfill in this world, one that will take all the energy and innovation of everyone in the world. This task is to rise above the greed of the world for the betterment of all, not not just a few. This would not mean giving up anything, only adding to the whole. So fight along with us in this war to free mankind from the money-thirsty electric companies which have made billions on our hard-earned money. Let's fight for the future of our children. The enemy has all the money and resources in the world, so we know who is running the business at the moment, but not anymore. It is easy to get your hands on the blueprints on how to build your homemade Searle Effects generator. Just click the Add to Cart button below. You will be taken to our secure order page. If you find that the Searle generator doesn't help you drastically reduce your electric bill, just email us within 60 days of receiving your order to get a 100% refund. No problems, no question. After you download the blueprints, I'm giving you an unheard of 60 days with absolutely no financial commitment on your part. If at any point in those 60 days you want to stop using the blueprints on how to build your homemade Searle Effect generator, no problem. You'll get your $49.97 refunded immediately. Of course, no one chooses to give up the free guide for life just to get their $49.97 back. Just think about it. An American house consumes 1,000 kilowatt hours a month. At 10 cents a kilowatt hour, that's $100 a month or $1,200 a year. At 15 cents a kilowatt hour, that's $150 a month or $1,800 a year. At 20 cents a kilowatt hour, and that is definitely where it's headed, that's a $200 a month or a whopping $2,400 a year. Just think about it. How much money did you send to your local electric company last year? In two years? In 10 years? I hate to break it down to you like this, but it's quite possible you have paid, on average, anywhere from $12,000 to $36,000 in electric bills in the last 10 years. Tell me, what could you have done with an extra twelve to thirty six thousand dollars over twenty years that's going to be at least forty eight thousand dollars and probably sixty thousand dollars or even more if you purchase these blueprints you're going to have an extra one thousand dollars or fifteen hundred dollars or even better available to you you can buy everything you need to build this generator from your local electronics store or find them in a scrapyard we know that industry has sometimes held back new products or processes so they could sell more of what they have for sale now that's when the market it is saturated. They come out with a new item or a process. This way they capitalize on the people rather than providing for them. This slows progress immensely. They seem to be building more things with built-in obsolescence so they can sell more of the same item. This is most evident in automobiles. We are no longer in the industrial age but have slipped into an age of making the rich richer and the powerful more powerful. The work being done today is done in secret because of this. What happened in the past must not be allowed to happen again. The world is in trouble and needs this technology badly. Public support and backing is needed now. Let us not stay in darkness to please and feed the big business and corrupt officials who prosper at our expense. We can move into a new age if we choose it, but we must choose it. It cannot be forced upon you. You must want it and pursue it yourself. We have been led by the nose too long. So if you want to be electric free, just click the Add to Cart button below and see the dramatic result of being free from the electric monster. What exactly would the production of the SEG do for us now? The home SEG generator would supply enough power for the entire home with no need for fuel of any kind. This would mean free electricity for any need or use you choose. This would include heating the home, so there would be no need for burning of any fuel. The SEG generator can be made of any size required, so it can be used for factories and high-rises as well as for the individual home. There would be no need for conventional electric power that is presently being generated by the burning of fossil fuels, nuclear fission reactors, and water power. To put the SEG to use immediately, a large unit could supply an entire city using the existing power lines. The SEG CG could also be incorporated into an automobile to power an electric motor. The same principle could be incorporated into any form of transportation vehicle on land or sea. This would include trains, subways, buses, ships, boats, etc. Anything that can be run with electricity can be run on the Searle Effect Generator. There would be many uses for this device, as you can see, but the most important effect it would have on the Earth is that it is pollution-free. Because of the nature of the propulsion system, it would actually help heal the ozone layer that has been damaged. We would be working with nature instead of against nature. It is time we, the people of Earth, started to heal this world and stop destroying it. So, if you want the blueprints, click the Add to Cart button below.
a low before it's too late. One question we get a lot is, you're saying that I do not have to be a rocket scientist to follow your plans and successfully build this generator? Answer, absolutely not. You do not have to be an Einstein to build our generator or to understand our blueprints. Another popular question goes something like this. Is this just a fancy demo? Does it really work? Listen, we totally appreciate and understand your healthy skepticism. In fact, we welcome it. If you did not have a skeptical, free-thinking, inquisitive mind, then you would never have arrived at our website. The short answer is, friend, this is real. This works. You will break free of the electric company chokehold. We have some comments from our buyers that we would like you to hear. Michael Johnson, Nashville, Tennessee. What you offer here is pure gold. Your information got me to start a business with this. I can't believe the price is so low. In my view, I'd still be happy if I paid $1,500 U.S. for it. Anthony Thomas, Naperville, Chicago. The instructions were clear and easy to follow, and I'm thrilled with the end result. Thanks for putting out a great guide in helping the average Joe like me. Matthew Taylor, Springfield, Missouri. What can I say? Thank you for this opportunity. It is really working, and I've saved a lot of money building this generator. Go ahead. Click the orange Add to Cart button below. Strike a blow for the people, for free energy, for the truth. It's time for you to break free of the selfish energy vampires controlling your life. At long last, pull the plug on big bad energy. They've been riding on our backs for too long. Enough is enough. It's time to show them who is really the boss. It's we the people. Remember, there truly is no risk to you at all, and you will get the complete plans immediately. Just click the orange Add to Cart button below. We do need to warn you, you really do need to take action now. This website could get closed down very soon due to legal threats. Our resources are limited, so it is really just a matter of time until they shut us down. At least for another spell. We will regroup and reopen for business, but frankly, this is your chance right now. This is a special opportunity because the free internet junk out there about the Searle Effect Generator is just not enough for you to go on. We needed our team of experts to make sense out of it and make it truly doable for you and really for everybody. So join us in the noble fight for free electricity and final liberation from the tyrants to get the materials list. The blueprints, the color photos showing everything and much more for the underground free electricity that really does work. Click the Add to Cart button below now. Let's win the war and be free.